I'm in the middle of a uh, computer repair project here and I just wanted to take a couple quick videos to explain uh, what I do with these off the shelf systems. This was a co-worker's computer. It was brought to me with a dead motherboard and uh, they took it to a computer store and were told that you had to have a special motherboard and and uh, you couldn't just put off the shelf components in it. I said bull crap and bring it to me so I installed a brand new gigabyte motherboard some regular micro ATX form factor and a Silverstone 400 watt power supply I kept the existing processor and drives and uh, it originally had 512 mag of uh, DDR2 RAM I think it was only 533 or 667 speed I uh, put in 2 gigs of DDR2 800 which the processor supports no problem so that was a good performance increase there and uh, I just got to put in a new I.O. plate in the back for the new board it's a standard cutout the only thing I don't like about this case is the card mounting bracket I'd rather prefer that each card has its own screw but a lot of these lower end computer cases have you know one big bracket and I, I don't really like that design too much the good thing is it has a nice toolless drive cage here and they're nice enough to give you spare screws they're actually if you take the plastic front off the case there they're mounted right in the metal frame uh, you can see them sticking out there what I did have to do for modifications was take this single piece front panel connector that went to the LEDs and power switch and uh, took the pins out of that and I cut down some old four pin CD audio cables down to two pins and then transferred uh, the pins over to those little two pin housings I made plugged them into the new board uh, darn my camera battery's dying on me down here is the original best tech power supply look out for these there seem to be motherboard killers this one's a later model it's not quite as bad but if you have the the ATX 250-12E that's a real bad one I hear the original Asus motherboard that was in there had a dead voltage regulator. Processor was running cold. Of course, it wasn't working one bit. So, right now I'm running a virus scan. I've got seven virus detections with antivir here. It had SpyBot search and destroy and Avast antivirus, but evidently they weren't working all that well. This Windows XP Media Center edition is running like absolute dog crap. So what I'm going to do is install Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, nice, fresh, clean install, and uh, hopefully this will run like a brand new computer. I'm going to post a second video as a follow-up, so stay tuned for part two.